Well, good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this um, rather wet and overcast Tuesday, the 30th of April. Um, it's good to have you with me, whether you're watching um, live here on Tuesday morning or um, on catch up later on, either on YouTube or on Facebook. Today we are uh, remembering, um, I'm uh, laughing because as usual I know nothing about this person which is um, not very good so homework immediately for me. Uh, we remember um, Pandita Mary Ramabai, translator of the scriptures from 1922 um, and we're also asked to pray for the um, Archdeaconry of Bath um, not least at the moment because the Archdeacon of Bath, Adrian Ewings, is about to leave us um, and head off to pastures new. So um, we'll pray for him and his family um, as well as um, the, uh, the process to identify the next Archdeacon of Bath. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another, and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language, and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands, and their words to the ends of the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun, that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoices as a champion to run his course. It goes forth from the end of the heavens and runs to the very end again, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey dripping from the honeycomb. By them also is your servant taught, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often they offend? O oh, cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep your servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get dominion over me. So shall I be undefiled and innocent of great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. So we turn to Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. Once, while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing, yet 
If you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signalled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats, so that they began to sank, sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at his Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he, he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. So let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the church, the world and the day before us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, for the psalmist reminder pointing to your creation, your handiwork all around us. Lord, we know that so often we fail to glimpse, fail to understand your presence, your work, your creation. Lord, help us today to be attentive to your presence to all that you're doing in the world. Lord, help us to be grateful for all that we have, all the blessings perhaps that we take for granted, for which we offer you our thanks. And Lord, we thank you for the passage that we've just heard in Luke, the account of the miraculous catch of fish Lord, we thank you that with you nothing is impossible. So Lord, help us today to, to place our faith and trust in you, in the knowledge that your ways are higher than our ways, your thoughts deeper than our thoughts. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Lord, within our diocese, we're asked to pray for the Archdeaconry of Bath today. So we do thank you for Adrian, the Archdeacon of Bath, for his ministry and leadership. <clears throat> and we pray for the rural deans and others as they meet with him next week, uh, or indeed, I think today. Whenever it is, Lord, you know. Uh, we pray for that meeting and we do pray for Adrian and Fran and their family as they uh, approach a time of transition and and also for the process of identifying a successor as the Archdeacon of Bath. Lord we pray through your Holy Spirit that that you would raise up the right person and that in due time they will take on that role and be faithful to the call that you place upon them. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, at the same time, more locally, we pray for our own churches here at Staple Grove and Norton Fitzwarren, for all that we are and all that we do in our local communities. seeking to live the story and tell the story of your son, Jesus Christ. So Lord, we pray that through your Holy Spirit, you would continue to enable us. We thank you for all the many people who contribute to the lives of our churches, of our benefice. We thank you for the opportunities that we have in so many different ways to share the good news of Jesus Christ. We pray that through your Holy Spirit we would be ever bolder in declaring the good news of Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Lord, we pray especially today for our fellowship group at Norton, thanking you for them, for the people who are part of it, for Rosemary and for others who uh, lead it. And Lord, we pray for tonight's evening uh, social event as we reflect upon where to go next. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would be with us. Lord, help us to discern your will and to know your presence with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, within our benefice, we thank you for where we are, the vision that you have placed upon us. Lord, we pray for our ongoing discussions and deliberations of where you're calling us next. We thank you for uh, Rob Waldron, the meeting that we had with him, a very fruitful meeting last week. We do pray, Lord, that that ongoing process of discernment will bear fruit as we seek to be led by you through your Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, <coughs> hear our prayer. Lord, today we pray for those who work in healing professions. So we thank you for our hospital at Musgrove, for our pharmacies, doctors, surgeries, nursing homes, and all who look after people, whether that be on a professional basis or otherwise with family and friends. Lord, we pray that you would equip them as they treat and care for others. And Lord, we do pray for our health service creaking and struggling to keep up with the huge demand at the moment. We pray for those who make decisions for our health service. Lord, we are so grateful for the services that we have and we pray that through your Holy Spirit you would give grace and strength to those in positions of authority to ensure that those valuable services can continue. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, further afield, we pray for the world, particularly for those areas of the world where there is violence and warfare, for Ukraine and Russia, for Israel and Gaza. Lord, we pray in both of those places and indeed in others that peace will prevail, that somehow through the power of your Holy Spirit there'll be an end to violence and suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we hold before you those people we know who are in pain at the moment, those who are ill or lonely or anxious, those perhaps who are housebound those who are weak, maybe coming towards the end of life. So we do pray for Ivy and for Gerald, and for Derek and for Margaret, and for Barbara and for Barbara, and for Jean, and for Ian and Kate. Lord, we know that you are a healing God. So we pray for these people in confidence, in the knowledge that you will draw near them. And we pray too for those who are in the midst of grief, especially the friends and families of Elizabeth Hayes and of Jonathan Meads. Lord, we 
pray that you would grant these people all that they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As Jesus himself has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Good to have you with me and have a good day.